Stan Gibalisco <clears throat> here, W1GV Whiskey One Golf Victor, proprietor and operator of that ham radio station. I just did a demonstration a little while ago of this program, Ham Scope 1.56, H-A-M-S-C-O-P-E. Google on that, you can download it. It's an interface program or a, a demodulator program for CW. BPSK and MFSK 16. Also, it'll work radio teletype and a couple of other modes, but you need some add ons for that. Standalone, this program uh, operates on my Windows 7 machine here uh, perfectly well on CW, and you're looking now at it, it is copying W1AW's 18 word a minute bulletin. Uh, usually it tells me how how fast the speed is. Yes, right here, see? It's indicating 18 words a minute. So they are, in fact, doing just what they say they do according to this program. Now, I was going to try and demonstrate MFSK 16 on here. I did demonstrate BPSK 31. Unfortunately, they did not have time to do their MFSK bulletin uh, at the end of the uh, period of time they had allotted there, so they couldn't do it. They did RTTY first, uh, radio teletype, then they did um, BPSK uh, 31, and I showed you that on this ham scope. It will copy code, uh, although I'm perfectly well capable of writing this down, you know, copying this by hand. I I tested myself the other day just to be sure that I could in fact still copy one solid minute of 20 words a minute the way that I had to do back in I think it was 1973 when I took my extra class test in in St. Paul, Minnesota in the old federal building and this guy he made me receive perfect for a minute and send perfect for a minute with a straight key and it wasn't plain text either. He made me send, uh, I don't know what they call that, alphanumeric character stuff with some words deliberately misspelled. Oh, you know, this was this was a tricky deal, huh? Well, anyway, I got through it. <clears throat> I just wanted to be sure that I still could copy that, and, and I can. I mean, I guess I sort of owe it, even though now you don't even have to know the code, do you, to get... Uh, an extra class license. I don't think you even have to know the code. But anyway, this is a display that shows the spectrum. Now it also has a waterfall, which uh, some people prefer for, particularly for BPSK reception. There's the frequency right there is about 600 and, uh, I think it'll tell me, 668 hertz right there, see? 668 hertz. That's a nice, comfortable tone frequency for my purposes. That's uh, Some people like it higher, some like it lower. It'll also so show the input. Now, I, I don't know what good this really is, but except as an audio oscilloscope. It makes a good audio oscilloscope. Kind of neat looking. <clears throat> but the most useful that I have found here is the spectrum you can see there's a little bit of distortion in my audio system here. There's some harmonics of that audio tone, 668 hertz. But there you can read the, you can read what they're saying, and that's exactly right. You know, there's some jargon with ham radio, some uh, abbreviations and things like that. But again, this program is known as HamScope, H-A-M-S-C-O-P-E, latest version 1.56. You can download it. I recommend it. It's a cool program. W1GV, signing off. Until next time, 73.